Okay, gentlemen, I am back uh, to help you all out, try to. Uh, today we have a Samsung Galaxy Note 2. This is a Verizon. Um, it's actually a Verizon digitizer or an L900, a Sprint. The i605 is Verizon. It's got a Sprint back on it. I just snapped this back on because I want to show you exactly how you disassemble it. Um, the motherboard's out, but it's no big deal. You would leave the motherboard in. What I want to show you um, how is to just take the back cover off, exposing the motherboard, and then you will be able to get at the glass right from the edge rather than having to pry under the edge here, under the bezel like you normally would in, in, a, in an S3, a Samsung Galaxy S3. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to remove these screws here just all the screws you see in the back and it's one two three and four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven screws and if I didn't count that one it's twelve but I think I did so just remove all these screws right here and what we're gonna do after we have them all removed is we're gonna come in here by the charging port and um, you know I got pretty strong fingernails you can use a spooge but I like to use my fingernails in cases like this, and we're going to just get underneath it, just like that, and pop it, okay? So you can see already I've separated it a little bit, okay? I'm going to come to the side here, do the same thing. So you're just going to release it, and then you're going to release it over here, and that's the sides. Now, it's held in right here by a clip small clip right here so what we need to do is pry and push and we'll get it there you go and so now this is released right here we'll wait for a focus this inside is released but it's still being held by the larger clip here now I've tried to spooge underneath here it's a little difficult and if the motherboards here this is where the charging uh, connector is for the battery so you wouldn't be able to go in there now what we do is, now that we have a little bit of three quarters of the phone released, we're going to come to the top here, spread this one, like so, and like so. And now that's released, but notice how it's still held there. So we're going to push down this way, and voila, it releases. Okay, now again, of course, you're going to have a motherboard here, but for those of you that need to do this repair, you don't need to remove the motherboard again. Okay? But lo and behold, look what we have here. We have the glass edge right where it meets the entire frame. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? So now all we can do is just heat this up, and we could just come in here. We don't need a metal razor blade. We can come in here with a plastic razor blade and begin to lift and watch the locust separate. Now, again, before I begin... I want you to understand that the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 is a little different from the S3. Uh, the process of the separation of the loca is going to be very similar, just a little bit larger surface area. But the buttons are a little bit different. On the S3, the connector to the digitizer and the LED is all here in this corner. And then, actually, the LED is in this corner, but the digitizer runs across the bottom. Now, on the Samsung Galaxy uh, Note 2, that's not the case. Up here is the ribbon cable for both digitizer and the AMOLED LED screen. Okay, so you have to understand that when you're coming in with the razor blade to be very careful here. Now, unlike, unlike the S3, where the home button uh, is completely separated, in this case, the home button is not. The home button is together with... The soft buttons so when you're lifting up you have to be very careful that the whole assembly doesn't rip away now if that was to happen you can get the part the separate part and here it is you take the speaker up and then the whole ribbon cable comes out and then you could theoretically replace it but you don't want to cost yourself any extra money right okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna begin to heat very slowly we got a much bigger surface area but we're gonna heat this whole guy up and then we're gonna very simply come in from the side here we're gonna to try to stay we'll come here and you can even see I'm separating it already just with my finger 
I don't know if you could see that. Maybe you can. Okay. So it's, it's, um, I find them fairly easy, uh, compared to the S3. Of course, this was, this one isn't shatter, but there is an impact zone here. And then, of course, the impact zone down here. But this is the impact zone that probably broke it. It doesn't light up. Um, I have another one that's pretty destroyed here. And finally, I have another one that's even more destroyed. Um, but the process is all the same, and just to make it easier on myself to show you, I'm going to do this one so it comes up all in one piece. All right, so I'm going to begin the heating process. Okay, so we're going to begin heating. I usually keep it on low, but I'm going to just put it on high here, get it heating it quickly, make sure we keep it moving. So I want to get it up to about 150. So remember again just to reiterate the ribbon cables for the digitizer and the AMOLED LED the LED screen are up here and the home button is part of the soft touch buttons. You got to be really careful. Still you don't want to start from the bottom only because the buttons are adhered to the glass. And so if you start there, there's a good chance you're going to damage that ribbon cable. Almost a guarantee. But we've got to start from the top, but we've got to be really careful. And it's always a good idea to start from the camera side. And we're close. Because the main LED is on this side right here. Yeah, let's just take a temperature reading. Should be very close, and it is. Okay, so again, we can come right into the sides. Very, very easy. So you see this? And you could see the, the loca already. And I'm coming in an upward angle. Always remember to go in an upward angle. Very, very important. That assures that you don't dig in. Now, you may see some metal here. That's understandable because this unit was fractured. So this is a bad LED, damaged. But I'm just using this as, as um, purposes to educate, to show you guys how to do it. Okay. There goes the loca. I'm not going to be any more aggressive with this than I would be with a, with a working unit. We got a lot of heat in it, and you can see it just spreading away. And I'm going to go right down. Again, upward angle with your razor blades. Upward angle. The process is almost identical to an S3. You just got a lot more surface area. You can see I'm digging into the loca, which is fine. Still a lot of heat in it. Okay, it's cooled down. Let's go ahead and put some heat. Now, because this is an actual broken LED unit, and I'm only doing this video to show those who have inquired as to how to remove the glass, I'm not going to be doing a full repair on this one. And hence, I'm not putting the rectangular 
double-sided tape to build the border up, etc. And if you look at the S3 video, it's pretty much the same exact thing. You're just going to build a rectangular border out of the field of vision and just lay your glass on as dust-free as you possibly can. Using alcohol, some have questioned WD-40. Yes, I've seen someone else's video using WD-40 to remove the adhesive. Not a good idea. It will leave a residue, and it smells anyway. Alcohol is the best way to go, as long as you don't overdo it. Okay, so you can see here, here's your ribbon cable. And notice, this is the main digitizer. You see how it's much more superficial. So we're peeling back here, and notice... I want you to notice something if you can, and this is where you have to be really careful with these. I'm going to zoom in. This is what I mean about the home button. Let me see if I can drop the button comes out very easy, okay? And I apologize for the focusing. It's because I'm zoomed in. But if you can see, that home button is stuck to the motherboard. Are stuck to the stuck to the um, a frame, yet the buttons are not. So you see how you can tear it. So you really got to keep it open like this, and come in and carefully remove the button, so that you don't rip it away. And these are held on pretty good. A much stronger adhesive than the S3. Um, you know, you probably, if this was a, a working unit, only because I'm pressed for time, if this was a working unit, I would probably heat it up a little bit more. And you could see what happened because I was trying to show you. Look what happened to the left button here. It actually came apart. It's, it's lifting the LED out. So in a case like this, I'll take a razor blade and come in and I may have already damaged it it's possible I doubt it though again this part could be had by itself online I like eBay you get a, a much larger choice and prices out there, different areas of the world you can buy from, some cheaper than others. Okay, so you can see it's a lot more tough, on, it's, it's a lot more difficult on the bottom, and notice how the LED parts separate it, but that will turn on, it's not damaged. It's a little bit of a different beast. <laughs> okay, so this is pretty much what you're dealing with. Very lightweight. This button will always come up. Okay, and also, let me zoom out here. Sorry about that. Hopefully you, could have, you saw all that with me zoomed in. Um, there is a metal frame in the old glass that you have to take out. And so that frame is right here, does not come with new glass, and you have to make sure to put it in right. If you turn this around 180 degrees and lay, it will go in, but I promise you when you lay it down and you press, you'll crack, you'll crack the AMOLED, you'll crack the digitizer. And how do I know that? I learned the hard way. So you have to make sure the thicker part of the metal frame, the thicker part, thicker part of the metal frame home button goes towards the bottom. Extremely important, okay, on the new glass. And there you go. Um, the frame here is a lot thinner. Let me clean this away. The frame's a lot thinner here on the edge, but you do have a little bit of a wider uh, non-visual black area that you can get away with. If you notice the thickness of it here, we're talking about this area here, this gray or white, depending on your color. So you can certainly get in three millimeter tape if you start here and work in. 
um, you can get in two millimeter, two millimeter tape without an issue. Again, to get off the old loca, roll it off with your hand. Don't worry about smudges. They're going to happen. Um, your hand is going to be the least abrasive. It has oils in your skin. And once you get it all removed, then you use the glass, uh, excuse me, the alcohol. All right? Makes it real easy. All right? So there you have it. Here's where the damage was, by the way, to the old one. You can see where it fractured. All right, and that's it. That concludes this video. Again, just, you know, build up the rectangular two millimeter tape and lay your glass on and good luck. Uh, I have done it. Several successful repairs that I did not uh, videotape. Um, but uh, again, the process is very, very similar to the S3. So no need for me to go through a whole process. Just be careful down here. Again, the home button connected and that ribbon cable starts here goes through once you lift the speaker off goes through and works its way around to this one here so you can't lift it out and these stay stuck so make sure you get some heat into this area which i really didn't do very well i kind of rushed taking it off just to just to show you but make sure you get some heat in here and you could you could if i might come in with a razor blade from this angle and aim it upwards as you come in from the glass just to try to separate this sticky stuff and it is sticky this double-sided tape okay thanks for watching i hope this was helpful feel free to ask any questions have a great day